Let's solve problem 6.56 for microelectronic circuits 8th edition by Sedrin Smith. A single measurement indicates the emitter voltage of the transistor in the circuit to be 1 volt. So we have an NPN transistor with our emitter, base, and collector. And the problem states that the emitter voltage is equal to 1 volt. Then under the assumption that the absolute voltage drop from base to emitter is 0.7 volts, we want to find all these values. So I'm going to try my best to grow in order. So first we want to find base voltage. Well, that's pretty simple. It's just going to be equal to the emitter voltage minus uh, the voltage drop between base and emitter. So that's going to be 1 volt minus 0.7 volts. So base voltage is 0.3 volts. Okay, let's find base current. Sorry. So base current will be equal to the base voltage of 0.3 volts divided by that resistance of 100 kilo ohms. That is equal to 0 0.003 milliamps. Now we want to find emitter current. So that'll be the we can just do uh, some little analysis. That'll be 2.5 volts minus the emitter voltage divided by that resistance of 10 kilo ohms. That is 0 0.15 milliamps. Okay. Now we can calculate the collector current by doing emitter current minus base current. So that's 0 0.15 milliamps minus 0 0.003 milliamps. And that's equal to 0 0.147 milliamps. Okay, next we have collector voltage. If we travel upward from the circuit, that would be negative 2.5 volts plus the collector current of 0 0.147 milliamps. Multiply by that resistance of 10 kilo ohms. So I get that the voltage, uh, collector voltage is negative 1.03 volts. Okay, now I wanna stop the solving real quick to point out that the EBJ, right, we're going from collect our base, which is 0 0.3 volts, to emitter, which is 1 volt. So the EBJ is reverse biased. The CBJ is going from 0 0.3 volts to negative 1.03 volts. So the CBJ is forward biased, which means that this transistor is operating in the active region. So we can leverage the following equation for beta. It will be the collector current divided by the base current, which is 0 0.147 divided by 0 0.003. And that's equal to 49. And alpha will be equal to beta divided by beta plus 1. So that's 49 divided by 50. So I get that alpha is equal to 0 0.98. And that finishes the problem. Thank you for watching my video. For any comments, questions, or video suggestions, please contact me in the comments section or by my email. Thank you, and have a nice day.